Okay, so now that the puppies are not in the car, I can really give you the whole breakdown on the Prius. This is a Prius V 2012. Um, in this door, I have books that I take, puppy food here. I've got a pair of Ugg boots down there that are knee high. These go in the windows. Um, this goes across the window if it's snowing and then you can just pull it off and you don't have any snow on your windows. I have a raincoat. I have a down vest here. I have a rumple uh, puffy blanket. I have my down jacket. This is a little down blanket. This is filled with movies so that I can watch entertainment. Um, this goes over my um, dash here at night so you don't have to see the lights and things. Uh, this has extras that I put in here sometimes. It'll hold different things. Okay. I have my little thing that says home sweet cozy home. My hat that I've done. <laughs> I just thought that was fun. I got it in Roswell when I was over there. And uh, okay. You can see my little bird over there. Just fun stuff. And uh, then I have a plug here that goes up here where I hold my phone. Um, I do have a, what do you call it, the um, Sport Berkey. If I get water, if I'm at a place and I'm kind of out of water, okay, that is. Uh, It will filter all your water. Now I took out the seat here, the back seat. I do have extra space here where I have some hiking boots and they're also good for rain. So I keep them in here. I did have this built. So this carries extra clothing, okay. In the side door, I carry another little kind of tripod, and then this goes for my DVD player. Here is a wash thing that you can open up my toilet, and uh, there I have a little thing over it if you want to use it. I'll show you the inside of here. You put a little baggie, and then you put the poo powder, it's called poo powder, and that is scented, and it just, uh, everything gels up when you use it, it dries it up. I have a flute here, some um, artwork, okay, I like my artwork, and over there, you can see that I have my drawers inside of here. I have my little Bideam. That's a 300 watt that I can do water or make soup or whatever I want to do. I put a nice size um, trash basket in here. Easy to use. I had a smaller one, but it didn't work so well. So in the morning, you take your stuff from your toilet you uh, wrap it up and you just throw it away in here with your extra um, garbage and you just throw, toss them all. I brought a Native American flute and um, here is my bed, which fits quite nicely. I have an extra pad here for the puppies. And then as you can see, this is from Home Depot, one of those standing mats. On that, I put a rug. 
which uh, again helps with the cold and it's just a little more comfortable. Here, I'll show you what I have over here. Let me get in here real quick. My little pillow happiness. Okay. <laughs> I have my Yeti cooler, but inside of there, I have my plate. I have my, um, there's some tea, my toothbrush, toothpaste, another cup, um, measuring spoons. In here are all the things I use um, for cooking and my scissors and all of those things that you're using all the time. A scent thing here. I have my paper towels and then my vinegar and water, which I use for my um, for my cleaning my plates, etc. Okay. Now we'll go around to the back. <clears throat> okay. Of course, I have my little things. Get high on a mountain. Area 51, Groom Lake. <laughs> Use of deadly force is authorized. My UFO things and my veteran tag. I'm going to open this up now so you can see. Here's my bed. Um, in here I have puppy treats. They're toys, some toys for them. This is a... Uh, what I have here, this is to start your engine if you ever need it, okay? Um, that works really well, it's small, compact. I have a 200 watt heater, which I've never used, but I have it just in case. This is my refrigerator. I have a sound machine. This is what I cook in, I have my little thing because I'm a carnivore. Uh, that's all I need. Now I am getting something else um, and we'll see how it works. It's also supposed to be 500 watts but you can steam in it. It also has a way you can grill and uh, so we'll see how that works. So I may switch that out. Here is an inverter. It's a 2000 watt and under in here is my 12 volt battery so i have it hooked right into the battery an extra bowl here in case i want to do soup or something like that extra artwork up here <laughs> and we go to the other side and here's my dvd player this I usually carry a little extra water and other supplies there. I do have room. I could put something here if I need. And again, this is another drawer where I have winter gloves and um, extra extra pants, uh, etc. Other things that I use, and of course little decorations. So. Um, Go up here. I carry a what do you call these? Um, oh, one of these little towels. It works really well for cleaning dust and everything. Uh, this is CDs for uh, listening to music, etc. So there you have it. And then at night. The reason I bought this is for this, let me turn this on, the climate control. You can see here, you can set it for whatever climate you want. Usually I will set it for upper and lower. Uh, since it's winter time, I'll set it in two or three things and I will turn off the um, AC at night. And that works really well. Um, so there you have it. This is my, uh, this is my 
Prius glamping, uh, <laughs> glamping um, vehicle. Oh, water. I keep water down there. I keep a bottle of water down there. Okay, actually, I do have a road trek van as well, but I've found, you know, with this, you get such good gas mileage and actually the temperature control uh, for the climate control in here beats the road trek all to heck when it comes to um, being comfortable to sleep at night. Uh, now I did have a bigger thing instead of with the Yeti with, that I have there now. Um, it was larger, but actually taking that out and putting the Yeti in, which is, gives me a little more room, it makes it easy for me to get up out of the bed at night to go to the toilet, etc. So even that, just that little extra space really made a big difference, okay? So I hope you enjoy my little glamping Prius. And um, this is, like I said, this is the Prius V. Uh, it's a 2012. And uh, I hope this has given you some ideas. If you have a Prius, etc., and you wanna set up uh, your Prius for camping and how it will work. Now, when summer comes, I'll be able to get rid of a lot of this extra stuff um, and so that will be actually easier. Uh, oh, in the back, in the back, in the back, underneath, if you pull up the, the back thing, there is some storage there. So under there, I have a way to inflate tires. I have extra oil. I do have a tent type thing that in the summertime, you lift up the back and you can put that on and so you don't get bugs in here and you can leave the back hatch open. Um, so that is also back there. Of course, I'm not using it during the winter, but in the summer, it's a great thing to have. So instead of having this stuff up here with all the coats and paraphernalia I have up here, then I can take that out of the back and put that up here for, uh, the ease to get to it okay so on that note i'm going to leave that here i hope you've enjoyed my prius glamping tour and hopefully it's given you some ideas for your own vehicle so we'll see you online or across the road thanks for tuning in